Imagine you have $500. Your car really needs new tires, but you just heard about this new stock that you are pretty confident is going to the moon. You think that if you invest your money, you could double it to $1,000, but the car tires really can't wait. It's quite the dilemma. What if you found out that you could invest in the stock and in return, they would give you the same amount of money that you invested, but with a built-in promise that you'll return it. You could then buy the stock and take out a loan for the money you need for the tires. Welcome to Whiteboard Crypto, the number one YouTube channel for crypto education. Education. Here we explain topics of the cryptocurrency world using analogies, stories, and examples so you can easily understand them. In this video, I'll explain what liquid staking and restaking are, how they work, and even some places you can do it. Our tire and stock example is completely fabricated. You can't ever know for sure that an asset will rise in price, but the concept behind this analogy is a new feature that DeFi has made possible. There are a few key terms you'll need to know to understand the rest of this video. We have other videos on all of them that I'll link to in the description, but I'll give you a brief overview here. DeFi is short for decentralized finance, and it's a term for a new possibility of secure financial deals. These usually involve trading cryptocurrencies, but also offer other financial services like providing liquidity and staking. Staking is the mechanism by which people buy a cryptocurrency and then lock it up for a period of time as an incentive to help secure the network. In return for behaving, they earn a little bit of that crypto as rewards. If they misbehave, they have something to lose. Another term you'll want to get used to is liquid, Basically, the ability to move financial assets is referred to as liquidity. When you own a house, the value of the house is not that liquid because it would probably take you months to find a buyer, write a contract, and then actually sell and move out of the house. On the other hand, cash is very liquid because you can immediately use it to buy things. And the last term you'll need to understand is token, which refers to a cryptocurrency asset that you can trade or use on DeFi platforms. We have a video explaining the difference between coins and tokens that is linked in the description below. Okay, so now that you have the basics, you probably have an idea of what liquid staking means. Most simply, liquid staking is the ability to stake some crypto and receive tokens in return that you can then use to do other things in DeFi while simultaneously getting the staking rewards. Remember how I said at the beginning of this video that you thought you could double your investment? That's basically what this is doing. So let's give a more practical example. Say you stake $500 worth of Ethereum, or ETH. The liquid staking platform then issues you $500 worth of the staking token. Let's call it Seath. So now you've given the platform $500 and they've given you an IOU of $500. The cool thing is that you can sell, trade, or redeem this IOU at any point in time, making it completely liquid. Before liquid staking, the $500 was just locked in the platform and most staking platforms require you to lock up your stake for a week up to four years. These staked ETH tokens, what I call IOUs, are called liquid staking tokens, or LST. Another benefit of liquid staking, other than the immediate liquidity, is that you don't have to run your own complex hardware. When you stake, you usually need a dedicated server and internet connection, and outages can be costly. When liquid staking, you do not have this risk. You are offering it to someone else who has the equipment to be sure there won't be outages. For most liquid staking tokens, you just need to hold the token itself to earn rewards. No technical expertise required. So far, you're probably thinking this is too good to be true. Why would a platform take the risk of letting you basically double your money, at least on paper, temporarily? It's because this solves two other problems. The first is securing the network, and the second is ecosystem liquidity. Remember how we said staking helps secure the blockchain? If not enough people are staking, transactions will be slower, the network will be less secure, and it will be more centralized. But if people are staking, then they aren't able to use those assets in the ecosystem to do things like trading and lending and buying. So a blockchain needs both people to stake and people to use the network. Liquid staking solves this problem by letting people do both. So doesn't liquid staking create more risk for the staker too? If you were asking yourself this question, you are are right. Some of the main risks are, number one, smart contract risk. While they're designed to be secure, there's always a chance of vulnerabilities or exploits that could result in the loss of staked assets. Number two is market volatility. The value of staked assets can change, affecting both the rewards earned and the overall investment. The value of an LST can also decouple from the value of the underlying asset. For example, in the summer of 2022, the value of Steeth was lower than the value of ETH. For complicated math reasons we won't get into here, just know it can happen, even though it's unlikely it is a risk. Third is fees. Transactions on the blockchain cost money. Fees associated with staking can eat into your returns over time, especially if you're frequently moving assets around. There may also be fees for using the staking platforms that you should take into account. We've seen some fees as high as 15%. Number four is lockup periods. Some liquid staking solutions may have lockup periods during which staked assets cannot be accessed or withdrawn, or that you have to return the LST tokens at a certain period of time. 
If you have the tokens invested elsewhere, it could be challenging to meet those timelines. You may have realized there's a word we've not covered in this video yet, and that's restaking, a tool initially built by a protocol on Ethereum called Eigenlayer. Another whole video could be made about Eigenlayer, so we won't get into it too much here, but basically Eigenlayer is a protocol built with the ability to stake your native ETH or LST tokens across multiple platforms at once. It's called restaking because you're staking your funds on a platform, and then that platform is taking your staked funds and restaking them where they believe they can earn the most return. They also don't just stay on the chain you deposited them, they can bridge them to other networks as well. Usually newer networks with low liquidity have the highest yield. The tokens you receive when you deposit your funds into these restaking apps are, unsurprisingly, called liquid restaking tokens, or LRTs. Liquid restaking comes with its own risks, but it's meant to help provide security to various platforms rather than just one. Newer platforms with low liquidity usually need the funds the most, since they'd be an easy target for potential attackers. They've set it up so that different liquid staking platforms can use Eigenlayer's smart contracts to let people opt into this service at the time they first stake their tokens. Of course, this comes with another risk that we didn't mention earlier, and that's called counterparty risk. When restaking, you aren't only trusting one smart contract, the staking platform, but also the restaking smart contract. This means there are at least two points of potential failure rather than just one. You're also going to be more involved in multiple DeFi protocols by using LRTs, and the more you're using, the more risk there is. Okay, so if you've watched this whole thing and understand the risks, but still want to know how to get the rewards, we'll let you know a few places you can participate. But remember, no protocol is perfect, so this list might not be true in the future. As of this video, the most popular liquid staking platforms are Lido, Rocket Pool, Mantle LSP, and Stakestone. For liquid restaking, the most popular are Etherfi, Eigenlayer, Pendle, and Restake Finance. It's important if you want to use any crypto platforms to use ones that you'd know are actively used and trusted by a large number of people and that have been audited and tested for security. It doesn't entirely remove the risk, but it helps to know that you aren't the first or one of the first people to put your assets somewhere. If you want more info on any of these platforms or anything else we talked about in this video, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, I really hope you learned something, and most of all, I hope to see you in our next video.